Hi everybody, I'm Rochelle, the mother of the mother-daughter owners of Godiva's Secret Wigs. And it's early morning and I am so honored that Lisa and her dear friend Sue flew in to be with me to try wigs. So say hi to everybody. Hi everybody. And let's hear you. So Hi everybody. <laughs> that's Sue talking. So we are here to try some wigs that Lisa's been interested in wearing. So do you own any wigs? No. You're a wig virgin. Yes. You, oh, okay. I didn't even realize it. I thought you did. No. And Sue, you are the one that has wigs. Yes. Okay. And I started with you. Really? Yeah. Okay, cool. From online? Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. So Lisa got the word. You kind of pulled her in yes. to the wig thing. Wow, okay, you know how I love wig virgins because they are a clean slate. So I don't have to do any cleanup work. So tell me and tell our audience just why you're motivated, why you're thinking wigs. Um, I'm losing my hair. I was diagnosed with alopecia. I didn't, I couldn't believe it, you know. Um, so but, how did you know? Did you start losing hair and then you went to the doctor? Yes. And I've lost this whole section here and the sides and kind of back here. Okay. But I have a product that I, um, these fibers that I shake in and I have um, powders that you, they're like, I like know eyeshadow. You yes. kind of put it on there and it it covers up everything yeah. and it's a lot yeah. of work and sometimes the little pieces fall down <laughs> in okay. your face and um, I haven't gotten them wet or anything you know in the rain That's so I don't know scary. how they how that works but got it I thought a wig might be a nice idea well I am so excited and Lisa sent me quite a wonderful little list of the styles <laughs> and the colors right and Tons. I want to fulfill her desires to see those on her in colors she was choosing. And I threw a couple of wild cards in too. So do me a favor, will you just look down a little bit? Because I know a lot of clients are going to understand. Okay, thank you. Alopecia, it, it comes out in many different ways. Sometimes it can come out in any part of the head. It can all come. You can lose your eyebrows your eyelashes, I mean, it's crazy, and but there are solutions. So for those of you, I know there's some of you, you don't leave your homes because you're not comfortable with how your hair looks. And the first thing I wanna say is, some clients write in, they say, I hate my hair, but our hair is a part of us. It's part of who we are. Your hair is doing the best it can. So the whole idea is we're a solution for the pain of thinning hair or fine hair or not just looking the way you want in your world. So I really appreciate you coming today because this conversation, it many clients feel it in their gut. You know? I know. And I just thought that I would try getting a wig before I lose more hair mm -hmm. or I don't know how much I'll lose. Mm -hmm. Um, and I kind of wanted to be able to just wear it and look the same with yeah. one, with one, mm -hmm. um, instead of having it look like I'm losing my hair and having my grandkids be all worried and, I mean, I just want to be me. Yeah, yes. And women wear wigs for so many reasons. Some of them wear wigs because they have no hair. Some have had surgeries. Some have just been divorced and they want to have a new chapter in their lives, and they want to kind of have a rebirth, and having the hair they always wanted. You know, when I got divorced, what did I do? I went and bought a fire engine red refrigerator. Like, that was my <laughs> thing. Nobody was gonna tell me not to. And, and so, today can be the day of a new chapter, and there is nothing wrong with wigs. Wigs become many, most of our clients' best friends. Okay? So, 
So let's start going. So oh, okay. I'm going to show you. We're just going to jump right into this. Okay. So to prepare your hair, mm -hmm. it's really important that your hair is slicked back. And I'm going to be gentle with your hair because we don't want to lose any extra hair. Not on my watch. <laughs> so I'm making a little ponytail way down low. A secure mm -hmm. ponytail. That shouldn't be pulling your hair, is it? No. Okay, can you just look to the left so everybody can see? Just this little pony. Okay. And you know what? I'm not going to start there yet. I really want to put some pieces on you. Oh, okay. Because I want to start with let's use your hair for the moment. Okay. And I, I think there are some pieces that could be great for you. So the first piece I'm going to do, we're going to start lighter, is our medium top in almond spice. And I want you to see the highlights of this piece. And it kind of mimics the highlights that you have in your hair right now. So these open and close. You just rock your thumbs back and forth, and it's got a rubber gripper. So I want you to see these just open and close. There are four, and we unlock them, and I'm going to just try it in a couple of spots. First, I'm just going to place it. I don't push it back. Now let's see if I get it in the right spot. So I'm going to take it back further. So I know you're not used to any kind of a bang, but a little wispy can help the wig or the piece look even more natural. Mm -hmm. So let's just play a minute. I'm teasing this hair into the side hair so it's not just falling in your face. It's kind of just manipulating the fibers to go where they want. Mm -hmm. And so this just brushes right in your hair. So you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I want you to tell me the truth about what you like. I just want everybody to be able to see so you can see. Is it too high? Is it too flat? Is it too light? What do you feel? I don't know. I think it's cute and straight on. Okay. I don't know what it looks like from the side. Okay, or... yeah. Here, take a look. There is the back. It is it brushed... blended? Yeah, oh, completely. Sue, let's it's hear. Good. It completely, because it's darker in the back, it is identical to your color. Oh. Let me tuck this label in. Wow. So once I get the front where I like it, mm -hmm. then you clip in the back. And Clients love this as an alternative to a wig. Mm -hmm. Some days they wear a wig, and some days they don't. Do me a favor, just turn around. I'm going to leave the chair where it is and look back here. Mm -hmm. I want everyone just to see here. I can't even see what's different. Here is the piece. And this is our medium top. It's machine teased. All of our pieces are high quality synthetic. Okay. So it will always look the way you see it right now. Okay, so do you ever put your hair behind mm -hmm. your ears? Okay, so I want to show you, minus this little hangy thing that we have here, because I pulled this right off our store wall. Look how natural this looks. Look to your right just a little bit. That's it. You can see yourself right oh, there. Yeah. Okay, so if you wanted, you could put all of it behind your ears. So, mm -hmm. this is a great first start, mm -hmm. and uh, let's keep going. To take it off, all you do is unsnap it, and you roll it away, and down. Did that pull your hair? No. No? So, that's what's most important as far as we're concerned. And what is this color called? This color is Almond Spice R, so it's oh, got okay. a little warmth to it. Now I'm going to put the same piece in ginger brown. I'm wearing McKenna mm -hmm. wig in ginger brown. And so ginger brown is a soft brown. It's got warmth to it. So let's just have a look. 
So when you're first putting any wig or piece, and I'm, I'm talking to everybody, all of you, as I'm sharing with you, give it a minute. The thing with wigs and pieces is don't judge it in the first 10 seconds. You want to play with it. You might want it flatter. You might want it behind your ears, leaving a little of your hair out if your hair is smooth. So you can use your hair in a piece if it mimics the smoothness or the style of the piece. Like if my hair is curly frizzy, I'm not putting a smooth piece on and expect it to go together. Just makes sense. So here is ginger brown. This is your color. That's cute too. Yeah. Same piece completely. Mm -hmm. Just a deeper color. Yeah. Cute, right? Yeah. And it just comes all the way down, little pieces. So our pieces are not about putting you in a big, bulky top piece. Our pieces are about just enhancing and elevating your look a little bit to have it make sense. That's if, nice. Yeah. If you want, you can tease this baby up and you can make it as full as you want. Because I know you showed me some pictures of you and you had a full look. So many clients, they'll start with a wig curly or a piece, like full, yeah, or super flat and then work their way up full. They'll start in their comfort zone and then you start playing. Did you find that with your wig, Sue? I, I, have, to, I have to admit, I'm, I'm not brave. You're, you're not? I'm on Danny's page. Okay, flat. Not necessarily flat, but I'm not big hair. Okay. I, I wear my freedom pretty, just pretty simple, you know, finger. Okay. Like no brushing or anything. I don't make it real big. Okay. So it's what you want. But if you first slap a wig or a piece on and it's full and you don't want it full, you can just pat it down and get it where you want. But look at that. Like nobody would know. I'm giving it a hard look and the color is amazing. So you're a ginger brown too. Oh, yeah. Ginger brown, ginger brown, it's beautiful. So, and then again, it's they just both cute. rocking it. And it's the same piece, uh -huh. just different colors. So a lot of our clients, if they find a wig or a piece they like, they will end up with two. One for every day, one for nice. So it's always set aside if you're going somewhere special. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about it. You know it'll always be in great shape. Okay, so moving right along, now we're going to go into some wigs. But that was a great length for you. So ladies, if your hair is about at your shoulder length, a medium top is terrific. I'm going to put one more piece on you because this was my first pick not knowing no, this is a long top uh -huh. but sometimes I That's see okay. a, yeah I see a picture of someone uh -huh. and it's they come into me in person and they don't always look the same as the picture so let's have a little look here so our long top only means that it's a little longer this is chocolate swirl and this is our Taylor top. For those of you that know and love it, we have a wig called Taylor. And I want to tell you first off, the bangs on our wigs and pieces typically come too long. And that's so you can have it customized for your forehead. Some women have a smaller forehead, some women have a bigger one. So I could trim that on you. So will you turn to your left? I want to show you a little bit more. And you're wearing, just look right here. I want to show you a long top. You see the holes. Here is Lisa's length of hair. So a, long, a tailor top is too long, but it could be trimmed very easily. It takes about five minutes. And so, OK, thank you. You see what I'm saying about this piece? Yeah. So, it could be a little longer in the front and then go shorter up. But here is the beauty. Let's say you want to pull it back and clip it. But it would have to be cut. Mm -hmm. You can clip it. 
You can put it all in a ponytail, and then no one can tell. So let me show you what I mean. Oh, so you can't see through it. Right, because it's just thin pieces of hair. So your hair has to be the same length, mm -hmm. unless you're going to put it in a ponytail, like I'm doing right now. Because it's all gathered together, you can't tell. Mm -hmm. And some women, they want that. Okay, turn to your left a little, and I want you to see. Look right there. There. Oh, yeah. See that? Mm -hmm. So you've got a pony, or keep looking, I'm going to show you something else. See how it looks natural? Or I could twist, since Lisa's hair, it's got a little length to it, enough that I can twist it down low, and then I can bring it up and put a clip. See that? Mm -hmm. So it's another thing, thank you, that you can do with it. I mean, you've got options with a top piece. With a longer top piece? Yeah, and this way, I mean, I kind of like you with bangs. It's another alternative. Mm -hmm. I would trim them up a little bit, but that's it. And very easy. You could put it behind your ears again, but a little trim would have to happen. Mm -hmm. Unless you're, you say, I love it, I'm going to grow my hair out <laughs> to tailor length, you know. So that is tailor. So that was my pick sight unseen for you with the oh, top piece. Uh -huh. But I love the medium tops. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, I do too. Okay. Good. Now, now let's go into your list. Oh. So now I'm going to make a secure pony. And if you have any questions, or Sue, you have any questions. Are you taking pictures of these? No, I'm not. I didn't want to interrupt. Oh, your, you know how you doesn't. have your face thing on here or whatever. <laughs> All right, we can do oh, them after. Oh, too. never mind. Yeah. We can do them after. So the first pick is Aria. And we are doing it in the marble brown oh. R. So this is what you wanted to see, a beautiful, soft brown I'll show you how to put a wig on in a minute, but right now, what's important to remember is up at the hairline, and there are little tabs. I want you to feel those with your thumb and your forefinger. You feel the little curvy tabs. Mm -hmm. Make sure they're exactly even. Mm -hmm. All right, because sometimes when you put a wig on and they're uneven like this, the wig's gonna feel weird on you. Mm -hmm. So you make sure that's right, and then that the bangs or the wig Mm -hmm. Hairline matches yours. And I'm gonna what? Okay, my question is: is what if you don't have a hairline anymore? You will always have a hairline. But so I mean, what would be a real hairline? Like in my case, I lost my hair here. So. Okay, I see. So your hairline is where you want your hairline to be. My sister, her hairline is up higher. It would be like this, but she likes super long bangs. So she makes her hairline lower. Okay, so you can wear it lower. You know, freedom of choice. The wigs, there's not a must do. I think the only must not do is no heat. No hot heat on these wigs. Otherwise, it's for you to create. Women that don't have hair, if you have no hair at all, you will, I might as well show you who I am here. No, here I am. Women with no hair, you will still see a little distant line really? of where the hair was. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so with longer hair, I'm putting my hair in a low bun, and I'm making a loop. So the loop is on this side, and the extra hair is on this side. When I put the wig on, my loop becomes the anchor for the wig. And so let me show you. I just have to put this on me, and if you like it, this is freedom in chocolate swirl. As long as we're doing brown, so up at the hairline, 
even the tabs. Yeah. I noticed that one side looked a little longer than the other. <laughs> okay, and so if you're evening the tabs, Just check them. that will be perfect. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you have a perfect cut yeah. like this, if these are even, the wig's are right. Okay? So I just wanted you to see. Isn't this cute? Mm -hmm. So I love freedom. I, I love freedom. What color do you own? Do you know? Ginger brown. Oh, okay, great. That's what I said. She's a ginger brown. Yes, <laughs> yes. So you're going to be great in wigs. If you're new to wigs like Lisa, this 30 minutes, 40 minutes with me, you're going to get so used to wearing a wig because right now you have a story of who I kind you of are. like it. I yeah. like the color. It's a new color. I mean, it's a little darker for me, and I like that now. It's richer. Yeah, the color is rich. richer. I like it too. too. Yeah, I, I think like it's good with too. your skin tone. And that's marble brown. This is marble brown H. Now I'm going to yeah, take like you that. even a little deeper in the okay. same wig. All right. But. The highlights in Marble Brown H are beautiful. I like it. Yeah. Okay, good. So now let's just compare color okay. while we're looking. And for those of you at home, we sell color swatches. Oops, I'm so. losing a little bit of my powder. All right, well, <laughs> see, you can see now. You come to the right place. Baby. <laughs> so here now is Aria, but I'm putting it on you in coffee latte okay so here is the difference in the colors marble brown h coffee latte because this is going to help you start to get clear oh it's too dark so up at the hairline even the tabs mm -hmm. check those points <laughs> on aria it's really yeah. easy aria is a really easy wig to wear I kind of like this color better. Okay, and I agree with you, Sue. Yep. Okay. I agree. Okay, so Marble we're seeing brown. that the deeper, it's a little hard on you. Yeah, exactly. Okay, let just to make sure, I want to show you. Try it again, huh? Yeah. Marble brown H. I agree, beautiful, but just to get that confirmation. Mm -hmm, I like Softer that. and brighter. Yeah. It brightens. And up I like the bangs. Good. I like. Yes, soft, not too thick, and turn your head like this. Give it a little shake. Give it a good little shake. I want you to feel it's not going anywhere. No, no, it's fine. Okay, good. All right. So, so far, I'm going to move the darker, and I'm going to keep Aria right there. That one, that one. Our next little girl is Marina in Java Frost. See, when I saw all these colors online, I just wasn't sure what they would look like in person. Sure. And that's why a lot of women will buy a swatch, but our return policy online, you know, we ship wigs all over the world. Mm -hmm. And I suggest if you're not sure, get two and you get can ship it back. <laughs> get on a plane. Get on a plane. <laughs> Come see me. Come on down. Yeah. So this is Marina. The bangs again. They would be trimmed. Now, what's the difference between Marina and this one? Marina is a little fuller, and it's a little longer around the face. Some women, oh. they don't want the bang. Oh, I kind of like the bang. Okay. But we can easily, mm -hmm. I mean, you can manipulate any See, I haven't done that wig. before. I haven't done um, this before. Okay. Like to the side. Yes. Or... And you could leave it that way, but to me... This doesn't look natural no. because in your world you wouldn't be doing that. Could you put a little cute little bobby pin? You could, but I would suggest just a wispy little bang, leave the rest alone, and you can always get it trimmed more. But you don't never want to cut in haste. So you could get more fullness. It's a little bit of a rounder wig. I like Aria. that. Can you see that? I like that. Okay. But I like um, this color. Okay. The marble brown. Yeah. I like that color better. And I don't... It's thicker? It is thicker and it's more machine tees. So it's... Aria is a little straighter. 
Now yeah. the one thing that one seems more blunt, Aria, where this one is more yes, a, yes. Oh, is this more a? Line? It seems like it to me. A little I, more. I can't see the back. What I want to say, not knowing you, mm -hmm. is I know you've been used to wearing your hair in a certain look. Yeah. And I request that don't just try to go there mm -hmm. and make it be like the hair that you used to have, unless that's what you really want. Well, I want one that that I can wear every day okay. so that as my hair, as I lose more hair, I'll still look myself to okay. myself. But I'm really having fun trying different things. And I Great. really kind of want to see what I look like in different, yeah, because I might just like different colors and different lengths. And oh, you're right. Most of our mm -hmm. clients that they want to wear wigs or they feel more comfortable and confident in wigs, mm -hmm. they have a wig wardrobe. They owe two to 20 and 30 and 40 and they have some pieces and many like me and clients have written in and they're the ones that say I wake up in the morning and I choose my wig first and then my clothes to go with the wig. Who do you feel like today? Who do you want to be today? Oh that's nice. You know sometimes I'm a long redhead because I know my husband likes it and it's like having a beautiful mask, but you're not standing out. Like, you could go anywhere in this, and you're not, it's not screaming a change, but neither was Aria. People would just think you got your hair cut, and you got it highlighted a little bit more. Mm -hmm. That's it. So, it's not too... Yeah, now that I've had it on a little longer, mm -hmm. now it's starting to set with me. Yeah, exactly. It takes a while. When you first put it on, it's kind of like... <gasps> <laughs> yeah, it, you know what? It's kind of like contact lenses. It takes time to settle in. So my little rhyme is put her in the chair and keep her there. Because <laughs> I need, or any of our wig experts, we need 20 minutes with you to take wigs on and off. And then you get to the point where, like me, I can put any wig on in here and I'll make it me. Mm -hmm. It may not be your best choice on me or your favorite, but it's who I want to be. Because women are walking around with all kinds of hair. Mm -hmm. So who cares? Yeah. Be, be who you want. Be what speaks to you. That's my tip for the moment. Now, I want to show you Beth Mono. Mm -hmm. I'll remember that. Well, and it's right there. It's right there. It's on the mirror. <laughs> I'm not right moving the wigs that Lisa likes. That's the that's the good color. Beth Mono. So a monofilament wig. Mm -hmm. You see my fingers? Yeah. It's a see-through scalp. Oh. So the hair is put on hair by hair. I want to see if you can see this. It's just all see-through. It doesn't have fullness. It's not machine teased mm -hmm. at the scalp. It's a monofilament at the scalp. So it is going to be a flatter look. Okay. But let's give it a whirl. This is Beth Mono in Iced Mocha. Iced Mocha is another color that's really good. Similar, I should say. So I want you to do it again. Even those out, one's higher. Oh, where is it? Oh. Right. <laughs> oh, it's way up there. Yes. Pull those down and then look under and bring the hairline back to match your hairline. Hold it in. There we go. Okay, good. And remember the bangs come too long, so just for the sake of letting you see it, I'm going to bring it up just a little bit. I'm still going to, right now, the tab is here and here. So feel it again. Do you feel those? Yeah. There you go. And then always make sure the hairline Hello. is where you want it. Okay. Yeah. And this is the thing with our wigs. They look good fast. Well, that's nice right? in the morning, huh? That's, I, that's the yeah. best part. Because to straighten this and get this all blown out and everything, right. that would take so long. And, right. And it's done. Yeah. That is very pretty on you. Oh, thank you. Okay, who's this one? This is Beth Mono in Iced Mocha. So it's got those little highlights. 
Mm -hmm. Very pretty. I so still you like I still like the marble brown on you or the ginger brown. Okay. I like this one, this color the best. Marble I don't know if I like peach. the ginger brown. I don't like. Well, it was pretty on me though. Yeah. It had more red. I think. Yes. Or it was warmer. Right. Yeah. Right. And I had just something in my mind about red. Okay. For some reason, I I don't feel like I would look good in red, but it did. Well, we're going to try to. It did. We're going to go a little more red for you. Okay. I'm going to take you completely out of something you're used to. All right. For fun. Mm -hmm. Is that that wigs are freeing and fun. Okay. So this is great. So yeah. how do you feel about that? It's not real bouffant and full. It's cute. Yeah, it is cute. Very The natural. color's rich, so I kind of, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you all think? Let us know. <laughs> so I should have asked what you have that on. When you wear a monofilament wig, I can see how that would work for a person who has no hair. But if you have hair and you're parting it, you can't see through it. It will look like scalp, no matter what color hair you have under it. Yes. Hair or no hair. Yes, because the netting, the hair is put in the fabric. It's a see-through fabric, but it's still dense enough that you don't see through it. Okay. So Danielle, with her dark hair, she could wear a mono, and you won't see mm -hmm. that you won't see it. Yeah. Good question. So Chloe mono in chocolate kiss. Oh, that's cute too. Yeah. Really pretty. So this is great. A lace front oh. wig. Yeah, I kind of see I'm losing more powder here, okay. so you can kind of see this. Yes. But <laughs> and I get it, and I get it. So yeah. now we're seeing as it's it's big, it's about that big. Okay. There's a little hair that's going over it, but all right. Yeah, there's there's a lot of hair loss. So I like the idea that it's a lace front wig because see, I don't really have a hairline. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's touched mm -hmm. up, so it looks like I do. But it's great. And and how I feel about lace front is if you want to wear your hair up, a lace mm -hmm. front is great. But if you want a little wispy bang, yeah, a lace front is going to cost you a little bit more. It's a more intensive, it's more of a delicate. Then. It's not necessary if you're going to wear a wispy bang. Some women only want a lace front. But just my tip to you, no matter whether you have tons of hair, no hair, or in between, the wig is going right at your hairline, and mm -hmm. you're not going to see what's going on behind. Okay? So once again, we have Chloe in Chocolate Kiss. So I'm going to start you out lower because I want you to see. Let me get you this mirror. You can look just right there so everybody can see. So look how your scalp moves. Oh, that has a nice hairline. Yes. And oh, it still, makes a whole hairline. It makes the hairline. Yeah. It okay. looks like they're just. It's done like hair by hair. In there. So if you don't want bangs, a lace front wig. That's your I need. baby. I need the hair. Nice. Okay. And this is which? Beautiful. This is Chloe Mono in Chocolate Frost. Let me make sure I'm right here. <laughs> chocolate Kiss. Chocolate Chloe kiss. Mono. Chocolate Kiss. Let's look on this side. Can you see there? Mm -hmm. Do I want you to see the back? Look. So, really I'm pretty. I'm very impressed by the front. I know, I love that. Yeah. I love that right there. Yes, yeah, yes. That is like amazing. Yes, so that, you Did you look this. at it really close? Yeah. Come here well, and look you know real I close. You know I can't see that far. All right, come in here. But look. Say hi to everybody. Oh. Come here, say hi. Hi, hi everybody. This is Sue. <laughs> see, look, if I Friend pull it up Sue. a little bit, yeah. you so can see all the watch, hairs. I'm going to show you. See the hairs? There you it, go. I mean, it looks like the hairs are coming right out of your scalp yes. there. Yes, that is what I need. So let's oh. play. Let's just switch the part and let's see if we can. Yes, we can. Look what just happened. Yes. Oh, my God. Amazing. And you can tease it the way you want. It's got the roundness the way you like. Uh-huh. I like that, too. You could put one side behind your ear because your hair is showing, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. but it's completely the same color. So it's natural looking. It's completely natural. That's cute too. So which way do you normally part your hair anyway or um, straight I just out? kind of put it back okay. but now I'm having to kind of reconsider that because I do touch it up and it looks fine mm -hmm. but as you can see as the day goes on if I mess with it it goes away. I so I kind it. of need something real up there. Yes. I mean I'm blown away by that. I love it. You think this is good? I love it. The color oh, is beautiful it. on you too. It's got some little subtle highlights. And this is chocolate kiss? Chocolate no? kiss. A chocolate kiss. So another so great I like one. This one? Marble <laughs> brown. No, I'm looking at the colors. Marble brown age. Marble brown. And your Do this in marble well brown? Let's well, look we're gonna this. look after because guess what? Oh. There's hundreds of wigs and I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna start where we're starting. <laughs> I like that one too. Okay. I'm putting this with, these are kind of our top three at the moment, and Marina, let's keep going. Next, again, another lace front. This is a new wig Sasha, and it is gorgeous. This color, chocolate swirl. So the colors, I want you to see before I brush it, all these blondes and reds, but it's a warm, color, very rich. Okay, I want you to do it now. Bring it up oh, to your, okay. you can bring it up to your hairline, put your hair underneath. Little, I can't even find the other tab. Okay. Let's see, right here, right here. Out here. There oh, you go. Oh, there yeah. I want okay, you to get used so to doing it. So for those of you at home, if you need to calm down when you get your uh, wig box in the mail yeah. and you're the kind that's like da 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 uh, then slow down. Grab a glass of wine, take a few deep breaths, have a girlfriend that you're comfortable with sharing, have her with you, and take your time. Okay, I'm going to just, just a little bit more and now we're in the perfect spot. <laughs> And play. So I'm going to back this up just a little bit. This is Sasha. Lace front. Oh, that's cute too, just in case it go, you put it back a little. Really cute. And it could be pulled and oh, clipped. That's cute. If you like clipping your hair back, Sasha mm -hmm. Mono is a great little wig. You can tease it and back comb it. And so these wigs have never been tried on. They have no memory until the memory you give it. And that's why I'm kind of back combing Sasha mm -hmm. to start to tell it what I want it to do. Because if you keep just going like this, yeah. it's not going to do anything. So if you can, be intentional. Think about what you want. There you go. That's cute too. I, I, I'm still here. <laughs> this one? <laughs> yes. With color? With color and yes. even that style. Okay. I, I liked that. I did too. I liked the more blunt one on you. I did too. Aria. 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 So I'm going to put so Aria. I kind of like this too. Okay. It's darker though. <laughs> It is darker, but all these wigs come in different takes a colors. Little while to but get used to. Yeah, you can, and many clients, including myself, I normally go lighter in the summer, yes. and I go darker in the winter because uh -huh. we have our hair colored anyway, yeah. or not. But that's the illusion. It's just about the illusion. Yeah. So I still love. I love anything with a little streak for you. It just brightens yeah. you up. Mm -hmm. So right now, I have got to pop Aria back on because we're talking and talking about it. And let's see if it's still what I we're thinking. I still love it. <laughs> well, it's After just good seeing to the other ones. Yeah. So I'm going to just do it for you so we can have a quick little look. Aria. Oh.
and I hope you're all seeing that Lisa's wearing her glasses. It's fine. I wear my glasses all the time. Oh, you I just forgot about that. Graze really them. them. No, I mean you can, but if you can't see, yeah, no. that's true. So all you do is just graze the glasses against your skin. It goes right underneath between the wig and your skin. That's when your glasses go. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. I like that length on you. That so this far one? is my favorite. And I don't know, are you planning on growing your hair out again? or do you, I like this Who length. Who knows? Did you like it longer or short? I like this length on you. Yeah. I like your, I like how the you short. Your hair yeah. This looks very modern to me, but not trendy. This is a classic look. It, it's like you flat ironed your hair. Yeah. And the benefit of our wigs, we haven't talked about, is they never frizz. Oh, so I like that. When, you know, I, me too. And that's why I love our wigs and we created them this way because I'll have an afro. I'll walk out, yes, you too, Sue. <laughs> I'll walk out of the house and my hair is flat. And then David keeps saying every 10 minutes, your hair's growing, growing because it's getting bigger yeah. and bigger and higher. Our wigs don't frizz, and when you wash them, they dry the way you bought them. See, now that I'm looking at this one, and the other, some of the others were a little fuller. I like the bang, mm -hmm. and I like the color. Okay. And I'd like it to be a little thicker. Okay, so let's give it a little frizz. No. <laughs> and you oh, can, you know. You okay. Can, so I can give you a little more height up here. Uh -huh. Just we can use either of our teasing brushes. Just tease down. So see how I easy this is. Thicker. Okay. Wider. So you can do it. Do you tease your hair? Oh sure. Well then, same thing. Just commit a brush to your wigs. Do not use your own brush. Mm -hmm. for your hair with the wigs because it has your hair dirt some oils oh yeah and so the wigs gonna get dirtier quicker and then you just pat it how you want it but you can tease any of this the way you want it but it this wig is meant to be modern and smooth if you want a rounder look yeah. then marina and some of the others that we have you're gonna get that Oh. Not every wig comes in every single color. Oh. So the choice will become afterwards, is the color more important or is the style more important? Oh. Although many Boy. do come in the same, but it is not a guarantee. And I hope you're taking notes of the styles, the colors that you might want to try because all these wigs come in grays, blondes, reds, and other shades of browns. So check our videos too. We've got 500 videos on our YouTube channel. Search Godiva Secret Wigs. Yeah? Yeah, now I'm getting back, getting used to it again. There you go. This, there you go. Maybe not so much right there. Well, it's, it's machine teased, so it's a little okay. thicker. That's what, even after you wash it, mm -hmm. you're going to have the lift because it's machine teased. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to have a little more around okay. the inner side. All right. So let's keep going. Okay. Got more to go. So this was your pick, Dakota Chocolate Kiss. This is a wavy girl lace front. Up at the hairline and even the tabs. Oh, it has that hairline, huh? That, oh, that is front. so different. <laughs> so, so much different. There is something in you that wanted to see wavy. I know. So here I know. You are. And there could be a wavy girl in, in you somewhere, you know? I'll turn this thing loose. It's a beach wave. What do you think? I think she's cute. <laughs> More than this one? <laughs> well, I think that's your that's your dress up, go go out on the town yes. wig. That's your everyday yeah. wig. You know, we're used to we're we're kind of I don't want to say stuck, but yeah. we're used to one choice. I get mm -hmm. one choice in the color and I get one choice with the hairstyle. 
not true with our I'm more bold with the 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 there um, you go. I'm more bold with the color than I would be the style. Okay. Like I only have worn freedom to work. That's it. Nobody okay. has seen me with any of my other wigs on. Really? Yeah. Okay. I save those for when I go out at home or whatever. It's all a choice. Yeah. And for me, it, like many clients do what you do, and many clients love, revel in the boldness yeah. of going to work with that you, way. Well, it's your choice. You don't you have to wish. You yeah. just are in the mood one day. Yeah. And here's the thing. You know there's a part of you, a little whisper, well, what are people going to say? Yeah. That's the part that stops you. Yes. Right. It's the fear. Yeah. So instead of thinking it as fearful, thinking of it as you are an inspiration, to help other women feel free Dude. to be who they want to be. That is really cute. It's a whole other look. It's and a it very different beautiful. look. Yeah, it's a very different look. So you get your fullness. Mm -hmm. You're a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. It could always be trimmed, but I wouldn't. No, I, I like love it. That's, this. That's a good length right there. I don't I think like that's this, too yeah. long at all. Yeah, I like that look. Is this? Is this the hairline on the lace waist? front? Oh, okay. That is a lace front. Yes. Okay. Loving it on you. Oh, so it does have the little lace front. Yes. And so this is exactly when the thought of there isn't one right wig. There is what? Who do you want to be today? How do you want to look? What mood are you in? You feeling a little sassy? Wear it with <laughs> jeans and go out shopping. What do your grandkids say? Well, they've been raised they with Dan Allen <laughs> and me wearing wigs, and we have wig parties with our grand girls. So they 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 know. Oh, yeah. they know. They're like, Grandma, you're a redhead. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> and it's also for them. You know, sure. it's it's important to me, and I'm always kicking out of the box to not be stuck in a role. Yeah, it's yeah. very, uh, maybe it's the Gemini in me, I don't know. But I like, I don't like people to know me just by the back of my head yeah. <laughs> or what color. So like when you came in and I'm a brunette, yeah. I think you didn't know who I was. It was really cute though. It looked really good. <laughs> Thank you. But so. you and Danielle can kind of wear all the colors. But everybody can. It's a mental, Is it's it? just a mental thing. And I made my eyebrows a little darker today. Oh, yeah. Because I was going mm -hmm. brown. I put a little more blush because I don't want to be pale mm -hmm. with darker hair. Yeah. And maybe some women do want to be pale. It's, a, it's, all, yeah. it's all like we are um, a clean slate. We are a blank page. And create who you want to be, like drawing a pretty picture that makes you feel good. That's all. Sometimes I wear a pink wig out. <laughs> okay. That's a very different look for me. Yes. And I am proud of you for sitting with that. I'm not saying it's bad. I love it on you. It's an alter ego. I mean, that's it's very a different, different yeah. part of you. So getting in touch with what tickles you, with what make, gives you a little, a little mm -hmm. charge, those are the styles or the colors that move Now will you. it keep this wave when yes. I wash it? Yes, yes. It will dry the way you bought it. Every wig will. Huh. So we want to know what you're thinking. So please share. All right, let's keep going. Okay. Boy, oh boy, we're doing pretty good today. We are. We really ventured out of the box on that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That was different. Yeah. Now, Diana, back to your favorite color, marble oh, brown okay. age. A little longer, a little smoother. Mm -hmm. See now, that marble brown looks a little lighter to me. This looks blondish. More, more ashy. It may be, and, and partially because it's longer, you're seeing more, more of the color, color strands. So don't make anything wrong in your mind, make it different. If you think of it as different, it, mm -hmm. you're not judging it so harshly. There you go. Look, we didn't tease it. I didn't take a brush to it. It's like nothing. I know. It's a little light for me, I think. Okay. 
Okay. Did, was this one that light? No, Aria is a, it's a little bit lighter, a little bit deeper, sorry. Oh, okay. It's got the same colors, but our colors, like any wig, They're all still, yeah. it's put together by human hands, are collecting the colors to make the wigs. Mm -hmm. So everyone is kind of custom in a way. But it's very pretty on you. I've had my hair like this length, but not the bang. And I kind of like that too. I have to say, I like I the color. I kind of like a bang. I like the color. Mm -hmm. It's different than what you're used to. That's true. I've had but this color. I don't I like see. It. Yeah, it's it's very soft and beautiful on you. It's a nice like like you said for summer. I right. Let me see you. Mm -hmm. I'm loving that. That could work for you. There you go. Look. And with any longer wig, of course, you can pull it back. You can give yourself some height up here. Clip it up. It's just plain. And my tip if you're putting your hair up is not to make it perfect. If you work too long on a wig, yeah. it starts you getting phonier and phonier. Yeah, yeah, I don't want it too perfect. Yeah. So look at that. Yeah, that's cute too. Yeah. It's, it's just different. It is. It's very pretty on you. It's just different. Mm -hmm. And which is this? This is Diana. This is Diana lace front. Again, lace front. Yeah, I like the lace front. But it's got that little bang. And I like the bang on you too. I do too. And look. This is hard. I know. I know. That's why some women, you know, they're grabbing four or five wigs at a time. Each one a little different, a little different color. See, I can totally see you pulling that off. Completely you know? yeah. natural. Yeah, it looks really good on you. So what I did just now is I left that kind of flatter, and I just pulled the hair back. I want you to turn so everybody can see. Will you just look here? I want everybody to see the back. There you go. And I want you to see the back. I didn't brush it, make it perfect. I didn't do any big deal. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the darker underneath matches exactly perfect mm -hmm. with your hair at your temples. Yeah. It does. <laughs> Such a hard decision. How we do it? Is. <laughs> How are you feeling about really this? Good. Uh -huh. good. Now, so much better. <laughs> I have a couple of wild cards. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm Let's choosing Tiffany in chocolate frost. You won't hurt my feelings. But when I work with the model before I meet her, I see a little photo, and that's what I go on. So, uh -huh. hey, I won't feel bad if you don't like it. What I love about Tiffany, when you said to me, I love roundness, mm -hmm. I love the fullness, mm -hmm. I hear Tiffany. Oh. Look. Do you, what about this color? We will check. Oh. We will check. So Tiffany, I want you to look at the back. We we say smooth in the front and a party in the back. Yeah. <laughs> the party is oh, this layer. The, the little if, layer. So you kind of get a little curl with it. The illusion, the story is, oh yeah, I blow dried the front and I let the back go a little curly. I didn't dry it all the way, right? But if you want it to it a little smooth higher it, in the back, is that? Well, I just made it that way because oh. I, I hear you saying, I want full. Yeah. But look what, I just smoothed the whole thing down. Mm -hmm. So it's just training. No, I mean down here. Oh, oh yeah, it's, it's A-line. Yeah, it's, it's an yeah. A-line. It's a wispy little A-line. There you go. Oh. And if you look at the side, you've got, you've got some layering there, some mm -hmm. longer layers. Uh-huh. So that is Tiffany. I wore Tiffany to my son's wedding in red, and I was in a floor-length blue dress and red hair, and I had this baby just filled. It was teased. It was full. I felt like a million bucks. So oh that God. is Tiffany, 
And now I want to put you in Tiffany again, but in a color we like, I think, a little more. Oh, Iced Mocha. Iced Mocha has all of your highlights. And I make everybody crazy always saying up at the hairline because if you put a wig on and you wear it right there, it's just not going to look real. It's yeah. not going to look real. So please, everybody, slowly up right at that hairline. And if the bangs are too long, just have a trim. Hmm. What's interesting to me with Tiffany on you mm -hmm. is it gives you a lift because it's not just round, it's layered. Mm -hmm. And so because the hair's shorter here, it sits up higher if you want it to. It can go as oh. flat as you want. Oh, that's completely different. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. You can put this side behind your ear. You can bring this up. So would you go flatter or would you go fuller? Just like um, right I up. like it fuller. Okay. I mean, I don't know that I want it high on the top, but okay. I like it full on the sides. Okay. So there you can fill this baby out. When I look at you, mm -hmm. I see a trim face. And for me, the wider you get right here, yeah it's making your face almost a little wider. Oh. And so I want to take you a little higher here. And it's just my personal thing. It's just what I see. It's not right or wrong. Mm -hmm. It's just my perspective. I see now a trimmer face. Oh, and now okay. I see your chin. You've got a beautiful chin line. And so you're my model, so I'm playing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What do you think, Sue? I'm still I'm I'm oh, still yeah, back no, here back. and, and okay. Diana. Diana okay. has got me for you and Aria. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's okay. So far. All right. No on Tiffany. No. Okay. And guess what? I'm putting Tiffany on. <laughs> <laughs> she can just wear anything. Look at her. Oh See, God. I'm just oh, like, just I just want it that. just, I know there's some of you out there, you want it crazy and I want it crazy. You know, <laughs> jeans, some silver jewelry, a black t-shirt, and my hair is like crazy. Oh so, or so I can bring her down, 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 down. Mm -hmm. Cute, right? Yeah. Oh. Definitely a party in the back. Definitely a party in the back. And my last wild card is Trixie in Chocolate Swirl. So Chocolate Swirl is a beautiful blonde highlight with a little warmth. I want you to see the colors right here. just a different look. Mm -hmm. That's regular non lace front? Yes. This is machine teased, no lace front. And what I normally do is a little wispy bang. Mm -hmm. So it's just a wispy, see this? Yeah. It's just a really fun, it's a different look. <laughs> Can you see the back there? Here. Right there. No, right there. Right there. There you go. And that's the tag. But very wispy. Full in the middle. And just some wispy, sexy little pieces. Okay, so I'm at three now. <laughs> oh, might I my three wild too. card be in that three? I like, uh -huh. I, like, I like 
Trixie. It's, not, yeah. I don't, I, not that color for you. No. But um, I like that style. I kind of like sure. that color. I do too. It's just, it's, Trixie is just so easy. Now, I'm going to put Freedom on you. Oh, okay. Okay. There's so my girl. Trixie, there's our <laughs> baby. <laughs> Trixie is like the little longer sister of Freedom. Oh. And I'm going to put this on you in chestnut. Let's just see. The thing with the red wigs is like they're amazing <laughs> because they don't fade like regular red hair when you oh. wash it. Mm -hmm. So very true. this is freedom. It's like just you slap it on, you go, right? Yep, fingers only. Might not be for you, but I had to had to put it on. And you can do reds. You can do reds. It's just mm, a being warmer, okay, not, not a little right. warmer, a little more lipstick, mm -hmm. you know, a little more blush just to balance it all out. Now that's different too. Yeah. You can put it all behind your ears. Mm. Who would know? Nobody would know. Now, now I'm having a tough time between Trixie and Freedom on you. That just the length and the fact of putting it back behind your ears like that looks really good on you. Yes, me. and what it does is it's lifting you instead yeah. of widening you. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah. It's it's that lift we all want. We're getting older. We don't want to be wider. We want to be narrower and have that lift. And mm -hmm. that's why. I always go a little higher on a wig instead of just, you see, look at, look at mm -hmm. me. Yeah. Too flat. Ladies, it's a little flat on me. So if you have our wigs, try just a little, a little lift, a little lift at a time. Yeah. Mm. And I want you what, to see the back. What do you think of the color? <laughs> there you go. Freedom is a wig you travel. Like, I never go anywhere without my freedom. And when you're not wearing a wig, if you're traveling or wherever, you always turn a wig inside out when you're not wearing it, please. I will even roll it up and put it in my purse. Oh, oh wow. OK. <laughs> and if I get where I'm going and my hair's a mess, I'm slipping into the ladies' room, and oh, I am wow. slapping my wig on won't hurt it. The most important thing with a wig is never in a hot place, a hot car, a hot, a hot, if you wouldn't put your body somewhere, don't put your wig. Yeah, that's a good tip. Okay. So, very interesting. Mm. Okay, what, what red is that? This is chestnut. That's chestnut. Mm-hmm. this one? I think you look good in red. I know that you you <laughs> said you were shying away from the reds, but I think your skin tone and I think red is suitable for you. Mm. I, I don't I don't I know, know it's not your favorite. Red's not my favorite, but Okay, I have another surprise. I just Okay. She's calling out to me, so I have to put this on you. I was looking at that one. Katie Almond Roca. I did try on a Katie. I think I, I think I might have chosen Katie before I ended with uh, Freedom because I have very short hair. Do you wear your hair behind your ears? Because sometimes I want. Okay. I keep wanting to yeah. do that because yeah. I love your line right here. Yeah, really beautiful line, and I kind of want to show it. Yeah. I agree. You don't see it as much that way. Yeah, I even want to just pull it back and I want to clip it. Or, or, or like you did, tuck it behind you. Right. So Katie seems very similar, but uh, shorter than Diana? Yes, shorter and Is Diana a lace front? Katie wants to go out. Oh, she's got a little oh, flip. Oh, too. yes. Diana, she's all fringing in, fringing in. But really pretty. That's so something to compare. Yes, I do. I do like this one on you too. Yeah. If you like the more length. I don't like the little flippy thing. You don't. Okay. 
That's all we need That's to know main. because you don't want to get a wig that isn't the main part of the wig is something you don't want. Oh. So because That's she, the, you can, it can cute. turn her under. Yeah, but let's no. choose a wig that's already meant to go under instead yeah. of changing the integrity of the design. Okay. Yeah, the style it's okay. meant to be. All right, so there you have it. We're going to play and we are going to get back and show you what we narrowed down to. Okay, stay tuned. So. Lisa has made her choice, and it's yeah. Diana in marble brown. So tell me, how do you feel in it? Why'd you choose Diana? I like the highlights, and it's a little lighter than um, than I thought I was going to like, but I like it. I love it too. The highlights are great, mm -hmm. and it just suits you. I just like it. Yeah. Great. That's all we need to know. So thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye.